Hey guys, welcome to part 5 of my playthrough on Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures 2 for the Xbox 360, PS3, Wii U, and Nintendo 3DS. So last time we have um, we have played through the next two stages which have, ma which have made good use of Metal Pack, and now we're going to be moving on into the next two, which is of course another platforming stage, but another very special stage which we will be getting, getting into, you guys probably know what it is. So yes, we beat, through those, we beat through those last two stages, and of course I did this one off screen just for the achievement. Alright, so yep, let's go on and get into this stage. Flip flop. Okay, kind of kind of an odd choice for a stage name, but okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, let's do this. And and a new enemy type here, electric ghost. To attack an electric ghost, wait until he's used up his charge. Alrighty, so yep, it, that's yet another enemy that was not in the first game, so pretty interesting. I do like how um, this game uh, introduces uh, very uh, very new um, types of enemies, so that's actually pretty cool. Alright, chop all these guys right here. Alright, and chop them. Oh, and I see that big um, wing monster all the way back there, but, but we gotta get rid of all these ghosts here first. Yeah, it's been say it's been about almost a week uh, since the last part, but yeah, I'm gonna keep uploading uh, parts of this playthrough consistently. So yeah, because I want I really want to because I really want to see if I can get this playthrough done at least uh, before February next year because I really want to get into um, the next playthroughs, which are the which are uh, the Mega Man the Mega Man X games. So I really hope to get into those soon because you know I've, I've, I've I really have like tons of fun playing um, playing through them. So oh my god. How does, how does he even see me like from that far? Like that's that's freaking crazy. Okay, we're gonna um, activate um, ice pack right here. And thankfully, um, so yep, I actually wow, I actually forgot to mention in the uh, the past few parts, but yeah, so so this game actually um, introduces. Um, <laughs> I have no idea why I did that right there. Alright, so there we go. Freeze this guy. But yeah, as I was saying, um, so. Alright, and the being that guy gives us our second pack prize item, which is which is an orange. But yeah, I've not mentioned that the, this game actually actually this game actually features a um a protective shield. You know, pretty, it's pretty much similar to um pretty much similar to um to um to the shields and you know in many Sonic games where like uh what well, though it's not like in the Sonic games where like you take damage you lose a permanent you, you uh you take damage and you lose a shield. Uh, I think here in this game, um, I think I, it it actually lasts for about five seconds, I believe. So, yeah, I I kind of wish it would last uh, much more. I kind of wish it would, um, it would la last much more longer though. Like at least at least for about ten seconds. So that's kind of a shame. But I'm actually glad that's actually been um, uh, been added to this game. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, so it pretty much um, where you can pretty much uh, take uh, less damage from enemies. And stuff. Where he pretty much protects you from enemy attacks and everything, so pretty cool. Yeah, we're just gonna freeze these guys right now, okay, because you can actually get an achievement for these. And for some reason, um, yeah, freezing this, freezing uh, the enemies in this game isn't permanent, unlike unlike in the first game. So that's kind of that's really odd. I'm not sure uh, why it's like that. Like, can I chop that guy? Come on, there we go. What the heck was that about? <laughs> Alright, yeah, it, it, it's weird though. Like you can't. The, for some reason, the uh, when you freeze the ghost in this game, it's not permanent anymore, like the um, unlike the first game. So that's very that is very very strange. I mean, maybe maybe it's because like I'm guessing like the game developers realize realize that it's pretty much one of the things that made this game um, much more easier than the first. So I'm guessing um, I'm guessing that uh, I'm guessing that's why it's like that. I don't know. It just it just seems weird. All right, thanks, silly. Okay. But seriously, though, I really love that you can actually um. I really love that you can actually shoot um, sh uh, shoot these uh, vending machines just to get um some goodies out of it. So yeah, that's you know because that's actually um the prompt that's actually um that problem that I have with um that's actually that one problem that I had in the first game where ice packs uh, special cannot um. Like there's no hitbox for hitting the vending machines when you use when you use um, ice pack special, but here in this game it's not it's not really the problem. All right, so we got these platforms right here that uh, that always flip over um, every time you jump. So I think I remember seeing this. I believe it's um I believe it's some I believe in a game called Super Mario Galaxy. 
Like I, cause I think I think I remember watching Kabato Mighty Four Five Six's playthrough of that game. Like I think it's either like the first game or the the second game of Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah, I've actually seen uh, seen um these platforms like that are kind of similar to the to the ones from the um. Like I've actually like these platforms right here. They 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 seem kind of similar to the ones from from one of those um, Mario Super Mario Galaxy games. So yeah, it just kind of seems pretty familiar. Though I could be wrong. All right, so we got these guys right here, the Cyclops Ghost, and they and they pretty much have a different attack pattern where where he literally just splits himself into um, a bunch of clones of clone, clones of himself, but. So yeah, you can, yep, you can just pretty much uh, take them out no problem uh, with, with either um, with either using your uh, basic chomp ability or um, ice pack special. And there we go, that's the end of the stage. Wow, that was really really short, but okay. And before we end, before we end, look at that place back there. That is actually Frozen Mom's yogurt, um, the Frozen Mom's yo yogurt um, place or whatever whatever it was called in that episode. From uh, from the TV show, I, uh, from, called um, "Stand by Your Pac Man." You know that's when uh, Salentria and Pinky actually team up to rescue Pac and Spyro from the Packinator. And yes, and that's that's that place back there is actually that that place back there is actually what where they were cap where um, Pac and Spyro were actually held captive in. And that's where uh, Salentria and Pinky have to save them. So yeah, that's actually a pretty pretty neat uh, detail right there. So yeah, I actually like that it was actually integrated into this game. Yeah, awesome. And there we go. So we've got our gold medal, like always. All right. So I believe like the high score was, I think it was like uh, 30, 35,000 points. But here we got three, uh, thirty-seven thousand. So pretty cool. All right. So we have unlocked the next level, which is which is the Spiral Chopper. So yep. Yeah, so this looks like, uh, so it looks like Spiral is also getting his very own stage, just like what Silly did. So let's go on and get into this. Oh boy, cannot wait! I cannot wait for this one. And here he is. Yikes. Whoa! <laughs> Be careful, dude. All right, so cherry copter, cherry copter controls, right? Pretty much the same thing as silly. Uh, he can, uh, he can fire um, um, you know, pretty much with the charge shot and the B button to dodge and everything. So yeah, pretty much the same controls as the silly one. Alrighty. Now, oh my god, this music! Listen to this! Yep, another soundtrack that also plays in the show. I love I love the soundtrack. It, 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 it actually sounds like, um, it sounds like, uh, party music. Like, uh, based off those in instruments alone. Like, oh my god. That sounds so freaking good. Like, seriously. It sounds so freaking good. All right, so yeah, so if you're on this level though, you know it's a it's a, it's the exact same as uh, the silly stage. Um, uh, you can you can still um, you can shoot you can still fire you can still do a charge shot just like Mega Man and yeah, you can pretty much uh, shoot at any ghost that comes uh, comes in your way and everything. All right, so the high score for this stage is five thousand points or no fifty thousand points. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. I love some of the soundtracks in, in the Ghostly Adventures series. Like it's cool it's cool how like 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 it's cool how like uh, both Ghostly Adventures games feature uh, many uh, original soundtracks while others like are either um are um, Others are either, are either taken from the TV show or pretty much uh, or they're pretty, pretty much from uh, Pac-Man Pac -Man Championship Edition DX. So yeah, because I was about to mention in uh, part four, um, like because in those arcade levels as well as the tutorial tutorial theory challenges, yeah, those soundtracks are actually from Pac-Man Champion, Championship uh, Edition DX. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool because I I thought they I thought it was like a, an original soundtrack from from the um, you know, I thought it was just an original soundtrack that was just uh, made for for the games, but no, it's actually from it's actually from Pac-Man Championship Edition DX. So that's really freaking cool. Seriously, I love the soundtrack. Uh, I think uh, wow, okay. Um, I think I like in one instance when this when when the soundtrack played was um 
I, I was in the Jurassic Pack episode when they were playing uh, soccer while on the hoverboards, and also um, in that one episode of season two where but um, where Butler had to disguise himself as Her Herbert, you know, to where he pretty much has where he pr uh, where Betrayus and Buttocks had to um, pretty much use him to spy on Pack in the game. So yeah, still one of my favorite. Like it's pretty much my uh, third favorite episode of the entire show. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, and we still got these, uh, we, we still got those taunting ghosts right there, you know, that pretty much uh, drop a lot of goodies, and... Yeah, looks like the stage takes place in some sort of, uh, pack mall or something, or like, uh, the pack, the pack Opelous revisited from the first game. But there we go, we beat this stage with my man Spiral, and we've got the achievement Spiraling in Control. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I really love that you can actually play as the, uh, the other characters in this game, so it's pretty, it's actually pretty amazing, and... I don't know why these stages kind of remind me of um, those sky chase levels from Sonic Adventure. I believe, like not just Sonic Adventure, but I think also Sonic Unleashed. But it's mostly Sonic Adventure, you know, where you just fly around and then you just shoot a bunch of crap and everything. So yeah, it's actually pretty, actually pretty interesting. Alrighty, and with that, uh, yep, yeah, that's this is pretty much gonna be a short video because, like, yeah, because considering how short the stage was, including this one, wow. And it's already 11 minutes of recording, so... Oh, wow. So, yeah. I'm, go I'm gonna be tackling uh, this stage as well as the last one, which is a boss fight. Indeed, uh, the next part of this, so... Alrighty, so I guess before we end, uh, I guess we're just gonna talk to uh, a bunch of people around here. Uh, because there is an achievement for getting this, so... Let's talk to Blinky right here. How's it going, Blinky? Pack. I sure hope Grindertron doesn't destroy too much of Packopolis before you find him. Yep, I really hope he doesn't. We're almost getting into him, by the way, because we'll, we'll, we will be seeing him in the next stage. So, what's Pinky up to? Come here. I want to talk to you, girl. How are you, Pinky? Oh, Paxter, you're so brave. I just know you'll stop Grindertron. I know, we'll hope so, too. So, yeah, one thing I liked about that episode, um, when the Grindertron was uh, first made by Buttox, um, is that everyone here? Let me just double check. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's everyone here. Alright, we're just gonna hop into the roundhouse right here. But yeah, one thing I like about that episode, um, the fifth episode of season two, where, you know, with Grindertron, it's actually, it's actually pretty well win. And I, and I will say, and I will say, it's actually, um, I think one of the coolest, I think like the most coolest part about that episode is when Pack, uh, was when Pack and Grinder managed to make their own, uh, Grindertron of their own, but, uh, but a good type. So, and like, you know, I did, I did mention back in part two that, um, I did mention back in part two that, um, like another funny part was when Pac eats a, a brain berry and pretty much uh, makes him, it pretty much turns him into a nerd and everything where he literally talks too much and everything. And then, and then like Silly just reminds him that he needs to like, he needs to like go out there and like make it, um, stop Granite Chomp with the, like he needs to like stop like rambling and then just get, like get to work on the on the robot so he needs to get out there and then stop the Grindertron so yeah and I don't know why though like I remember like in that one part where um like I actually like that one part in that episode where like even though like Pac was no no match for the Grindertron on his own I like how like he tried to, like during the during that moment where he tries to attack the Grindertron I like how the I like how they added um like some some sort of uh, panels like for like each time he hit each t for each time he hits the Grindertron. it's actually pretty cool and I might I might put that as a thumbnail for maybe or no I'm not gonna put that as a thumbnail but I think I might uh I hope I might be able to post a post a picture of it with my video editor I don't know because my because the video editor I use for you know for making these videos like it's pretty like like it's pretty finicky at times like sometimes like like sometimes when I try to act text, uh, it just wow well, this guy here again. I try to act text here and I try to add text on there, and then like sometimes uh, it just doesn't. I don't know it just doesn't work whenever I, whenever I want it to. So it's just it's just really really weird. And seriously, why is Hippo Skippo in this game? Like seriously, he doesn't do anything. And seriously, in the episode where he and like the episode where he got this uh, power up in, like it was it was literally worth this. Like what the heck? Why did, why is he even in this game anyway? Like he literally serves no purpose to the plot. Like what the heck? Excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, um 
Yeah, I gotta say, like, I did like that episode. Um, like, it's, like, pretty much the best part was when, you know, Pack uh, creates a... a Pack uh, creates his own Grenatron. He pretty much uh, fights Budox with it, and then... And then, like, he he ends up losing uh, his uh, his Smart Bear powers in the end. But, and there we go. We got the achievement Chatter Pack. Hex yeah. So, yeah, we can talk to every single character here, but... But seriously, I kind of wish there were, like, more char more NPCs in here. Like, we could have had uh, Aunt Spiria in this game, like, at least one of these help bros. We could have gotten Mr. Dome, like, here in Maze High School. Uh, we could have gotten Sherry, um, Solyndria's close best friend. And who else? And, like, and, and that one guy from the 13th episode, uh, I think his name was Odrul. You know, the one who blames Cersei for all the, for all the, for all the heat that, that was causing a pack lord, even though it was Petraeus is doing. Yeah, like, why couldn't they, why couldn't they have, uh, added more, uh, characters in this game? Like, it's, and, uh, um, Aunt Spiria, Aunt Spiria especially, because she's actually one of my favorite characters, and, like, she's pretty much one of the most badass characters. So, yeah, I kind of wish she, she would have been, uh, she would have been in this game. Like, in both Ghost the Adventures games, but, yeah, that's such a missed opportunity. But yeah, I love that episode of, um, uh, episode 2, uh, episode 5 or 4 of season, no, episode 5 of season 2. Yeah, I actually did like that episode. It's kind of like, um, that one Powerpuff, Powerpuff Girls episode where, like, uh, the, uh, where the professor has the girls, uh, control, um, like, uh, the Dynamo bot, whatever it was called, I don't remember. It's been a while since I've seen that episode of that show. But yeah, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty amazing episode, and I just love it. I just love the fact that Buttocks literally just crashes it crashes into um like everything, and then there was like this one line where he was like, "Who thought that was a who thought that was a good place to put a tube?" <laughs> that's really that's really hilarious. So yeah, alrighty guys. So and um also check out that episode. It's pretty amazing. Can't guarantee you like it, but it's awesome. I really love it. So yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video. So if you all enjoyed if you all enjoyed this, feel free to feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to hit that notification bell down there so that way you can get notified for every single video I upload. And yes, the next video will be uh, part 6. This is part 5? Yeah, okay, so next video will be part 6. And I and I hope to upload Dragon Ball Legends afterwards. And then hopefully start a new game. And then hopefully uh, start a gameplay of Sonic Dash. So yeah, so yeah, anyway, that's all I have to say here in this video. So hope you all are having a wonderful day. And I will see you all in my next video. So peace out and take care.